Hi, welcome back to another one of Daniel and John's videos. And in this video, we're showing you how a Discovery 2 TD5 bumper all fits together. It's not gonna be a removal, it's gonna be rather putting everything back to just give you some understanding of how everything fits together in case you want to do the job yourself. The reason why we're doing this, we had um, quite bad bumper damage due to a third party. We fixed it, now we're putting it all back together. So the first thing I'll show you is this pit, this area here. So these are the crush cans. You've got this bottom strap here that has bolts that go on the bottom of the bumper, plastic bumper. And what else is there? So and in, the tow hook. Yeah, in the crush cans, there's the um, locating and mounting points for this. For the metal part of the bumper. Two of them. And you'll see here, there's one at each end. And you see these. This slides in that groove and that is a 13 mil socket. When you undo these, you don't take the nut all the way out. Just undo it so it slides out. It's the same at the other end. Yeah. So in a minute, we're just going to slide this in there and at the other end. And these two bolts on here, I'm sure what size they are. I think they are 15. All right. 14 maybe. It wouldn't be 13. Be 13. So the bolts here are 13 mil socket. And the other side, they're a little bit bigger. And they're a little bit bigger and they're so probably 14, 14 or 15, yeah. So they're different that. sizes. 14, yeah. And the washers here are on this side. You've got the bolt, the washer, bolt, the washer. And that side you've got the nuts. And on this side you've got the same here but without the washers because you've got this tow hook. And I'll just show you how this all goes together. The tow hook is on the outside of the crush can. And this main bracket here, to support the bumper, is on the outside of the tow hook. I'll just mention one thing that might throw me if I didn't know. If you, the brackets go towards the wheel, the yeah. locating brackets yeah, towards the wheel. Yeah, the brackets, the that crush yeah. cam brackets that way. Yeah. And we'll, cut, we'll film this video in yeah. multiple parts and come back to you. All right, so the main bumper supports on here. Goes into these bits here. You tighten them nuts up, see? And it also goes on to those uh, crush cans as well. See there with the threads. That's the 13 mil nut there. And uh, these are the nuts for it. Do you want to just check that? Is that 13? I think that's a bit smaller than the nuts, to be honest. No, it's 13. So that's a 13 mil nut. Well, which is handy. 13 mil nut for the nuts on them threads. And uh, we'll tell you what one that one is in a minute. I think it's 13 as well, Daniel. Yeah, in order to get this off, we actually had to um, undo the wing, and they were 10 mil. So you've got a bit of, just bit a bit. of flex, bit of flex just to get in there. As if space is tight. So everything's back in. Just that one there. Uh, we used a 13 mil ratchet spanner. Just makes access. We pulled well, this away it? a little bit. Probably not the best way of doing it, but the access is really tight. I just got it in there and just turned it to, so it's like really tight and that's it really. So the next bit to go on, next bit to go on is this bit. We had to put a new grill on so we damaged it. Use some mesh off Amazon which worked. Anyway this goes on as two. If you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves, it's December the 8th, 19th. And it is absolutely freezing out here, but we haven't got a lot of choice. So those two holes there line up with that one and that one. And there's a centre one as well. So we just need to line it up. There we go. So That's just there. just to say though, um, if you do get an issue with um, height of this bumper or sort of it, the angle, you can, you need a couple of people, but you can, someone can hold this. You can loosen these bolts on the crush can and pull it up because there's, there's like an adjustment on them. Uh, like a, about like that sort of adjustment you can just pull it up and down so we we may have to do that we don't know yet but for now so let's just we've pulled everything up attaching the we'll just fit this back. for now that goes on there but these bolts are and we've put a bit of grease on everything because last time we took it off yeah so when we took this off we didn't make the video about that it was uh, a nightmare basically that everything was rusty rotten it was just an absolute was, nightmare um, to be honest. The old enemy, just everything had seized up. Everything had seized up and so things had to be cut off and all sorts of bits. 
So what's, what are these bolts here? They're 10 mil. So they're 10 mil, and there's what? One either side or yeah. so one in there and there. So it's just one either side. They're just uh, some big holes. Okay. I've got a bigger bolt for there. But oh, and we've re routed the um, the headlight pipes uh, sort of along the back there. I'm not sure exactly where they go. They've got clips on them, but I don't know. I don't know if something missing. Yeah. Look, and we just worked it here. I'm not saying that's the right place for them, and the bit and the valve is in there as well. See, which goes on to that. So, hopefully, that'll be enough. But don't just a word of warning don't over tighten these because it's going on to plastic. Yeah, there is a central one there, and that's like Please. a what is that like a torx or something? Yeah, but that needs it's going to need a, a I, I don't think this is original, I think it needs a big washer on that because it is securing this on. You just it would serve no purpose just on its own. So, I'm not sure what that really does, it just goes in there. Ten mil there and ten mil there. And then the um, next thing to be fitted is the actual bumper, which is this piece here. And obviously you've got various fixings and stuff. Um, the windscreen, the uh, headlight washer pipes come through here. That's, that's the bottom with the grill shown, which we're installing now. And then the fog light's gone with the wires behind them. And then after that, it's, it's the shells, which we've had to, um, we had to repaint as well. Yeah. So we'll come back to you when we're a little bit further forward. Right, so bumper's back on. I need to make sure that this wheel liner is behind it. The tricky, most tricky part about this with putting this all together was these getting these pipes enough thing on it like that, rooting it underneath fog light lights. So the middle of the bumper here has this cap. And it goes in a certain way. It had this little. Uh, Torx head bolt, but unfortunately, um, the plastic inside that it goes against broke off. So, so it takes. So we've used a 10 mil, 13 mil bolt head. Put a big washer. Big washer in the back. Yeah. Big penny washer and a little washer to, to secure the middle of the bumper. It's been bust when it's been hit. So, so you can good. use you can use so a, a bolt in there just in case you have that problem. Yeah. I don't know. Or you lose it or whatever. Yeah. So we'll put that cap back on, and, and it's uh, just a protective cap. You see there's two little notches there, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. And one there, so that goes at the bottom, this goes at the top. Nice and easy that one. Probably goes in the top first I reckon. Like a yeah, little lever. Yeah, it does, yeah. 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 There you go. I think that's just to stop the bolt from corroding. There we are. Uh, the next thing to do is to put the fog lights back in, and they're just three Phillips screws. And I'll show you them. These things here. Just three Phillips screws and make the connection on the back first, obviously. And then the next thing to do with that is uh, probably the shells. Shells, yeah. And then connect the window, the, sh the, the washer hose up to them. Push, push them back. This in. one's really free. Just that one on the right is a bit tight. Not, not great. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back to you, and then we've got to put the, the lights in, the grill. And, which is the easy bit to go Which on. is the easy bit, we'll come back to you in a minute. Yeah. Right, so we've got the shells back on, and you need to make sure those are in position first, and the washer wiper pipe behind there. Push Get the it, pipe on first. Push it onto the clicks, and then you put this piece on here first, push it on at an angle, push it over there, and then you go forward and you clip it in and that's the easiest way on both of them. And it's got these clips at the top but it's got yeah. like a, I don't, you can't really see it but it's got like it's got a, a, locating a locating lug. piece that goes in, like, so it looks like that basically. Push it on there first and then push it over and then yeah. you've got three, three screws, uh, one, two, three and that's, that's your shells on and the next thing to go in is the lights and we'll show We'll show that as well, and everything does fit together in a certain but way. We, we haven't done these, these screws here. Oh no, we've got there's two, three screws here to go. Yeah, on. there's three screws here to go on as well. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so there's these little holes here. One, two, three, four. They just take a standard screw. We've, put, we've replaced it with new screws and we'll whack a bit of uh, black paint on that because the screws that came out were rusted. And the other thing to show you is uh, on the bottom here where the wheel liner runs. There is, well, if I can see it, there is, there is a metal bracket. I if I can get that or not. And the metal bracket screws, two screws up here, as you can see there and there. And it, it's got like um, a, a bolt that comes through with two nuts here, but because they were so badly corroded, we'll replace them. And then a couple of other things. These are, focus in a minute. These are E11, E11 Torx. And at the side of the light, you've got these two Torx bolts. At the side of the light, you've got a little sort of right angled bracket. So don't just pull this light out because there's a little right angle bracket behind this grill around about here. And it's got a Phillips screw on it. And then the grill itself, it's got these things, these fixings. This bit sort of pushes out with multiple bits. You have to get it together and push it in. And you've got that that screws and pushes in. And that's really it. So that's the front bumper refitted. Thanks for watching.